This is part six of the metal laving video. Say hi, Gino. Hi. That's my little engineer. He will be driving our little electric train once it's done. He is holding the uh, nearly complete. Uh, can Eddie have that? Nearly complete prototype train wheel. And thank you for all the fingerprints, Mr. Jean. Now, come on, focus. Oh, we need to know. Yes, thank you for your shoe. Now, hey, no, 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 no. Dad is showing the video. Now, we had a few problems with the lathe, being that it is very old, and uh, before my grandfather got it poorly kept, and he hasn't used it very much in a long time. Uh, well, anyways, um, as you read in my previous video's caption, sorry for no audio on that one, uh, we had a private conversation going on in the background. Um, the chuck actually was not very good on that one, but, you know, you, you use what you got. And it threw the whole part off when one of the, uh, one of the teeth that hold the, uh, one of the four teeth kind of gave out due to a stripped... Um, you know, are unable to tighten one of the bolts, which I've uh, found a workaround for. But uh, it was next to impossible to get it re-centered again. Let's see, got a light on there, show a little better. So I had, as it was on the lathe, I actually had a little bit of a wobble going. Even though it was centered, it was still wobbling. But, um, so I, I chopped it off, I left enough where I could lay it in and get the pro proper pitch. But um, as you can see, that wobble caused quite a few issues. It actually took me about 10 time, ten to 15 times longer just to chop this piece off than it did to machine this side. Nice, pretty smooth. Uh, we can see along right there. Let's see. Tip this down a bit. Along there. Uh, excessive heat buildup due to the wobble. Got down to a bit here, uh, about half the size of a dime, and just gave up uh, trying to lathe the whole piece off and took the hacksaw to it as you can see. And the wobble also caused, well, it bent the uh, the bore bar slightly. I don't know if uh, I have to shut the light off there. See if you can get a view. It tapered. Almost did like a pulley style taper. I don't know if you can catch that there. This might be a better demonstration. Focus. doesn't want to focus tight, but you have a little taper to it, which pops out kind of pyramidish towards the top there. In case anybody's wondering, I'm actually at a hotel right now. Just took a little family weekend, had a free room stay at the Olympia in uh, Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. I'll be doing a little review on this place. It's okay. It's a little dated, but... I believe they're doing some major renovations starting on a few floors below where we are. They had a free stay in a presidential suite, I think they call it. It has a jacuzzi. Kids had fun in that. Anyways, back to the wheel. So, um, I'm going to be able to, when, if I can't fix the chuck and get it where I can get this in the other direction now that it's cut off, and turn it like this and smooth that out and get the proper pitches on the... Uh, the lip of the wheel here. Uh, my grandfather's friend, Mr. Lucas, uh, apparently has a larger metal lathe than my grandfather's. Also does not use it very often. I may be able to go over there, put it on his lathe, and just finish up that side. Because all I need is uh, finish this prototype and I can actually start my sand casting. Uh, my little furnace is done barring minor tweaks along the actual process of melting the the uh, aluminum, 
my box is done. I have my uh, my green sand, uh, my Petrobon green sand, I believe it's called. Um, so I'm ready to start pour, molding and pouring. See what I what kind of uh, results I get. Um, uh, being that uh, this is all small scale stuff, I could pretty much make the wheel any size I want for my track. Um, I went with uh, about four and three quarters, I think it is. I'm gonna have to remeasure it, um, but I think the uh, the tread portion, not counting the lip, the tread portion is approximately four and three quarters. So, oh, sounds like uh, Mr. Gino is uh, a little fussy. So, I think we're going to call video quits for the night. And um, see you in the next video.